Good morning. Welcome to BTVN. I'm Cameron Simon. Joined with me today is Stephen Ketchmark. Stephen, how are you doing? I'm doing really great. I'm really excited for a soccer game, even though it's going to be cold. Yeah, really the weather, cold. Uh, yeah. definitely not on our side today, but I guess we're getting used to it now, so we'll roll through it. It's going to be really fun, yeah. I'm excited. So, uh, well, we will be right back. Now on to some announcements. The National Honor Society induction and reception is Wednesday, November 13th at 10 a.m. in the auditorium. Make sure to dress nicely also. And we have an admission open house in lower school this Wednesday at 9 a.m. BTVN will be live streaming the event if your parents or other family members can't make it. So be sure to tell your friends about to watch the live stream. So, as I mentioned last week, parents, alumni, students, and fans should come join us Friday, December 6th as Barstow's Booster Club, BPA, and BTVN uh, team up for a second time to present our rendition of ESPN Game Day. Uh, Steven, you excited? Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited to go out and watch those games. It's going to yeah, be really it's fun. fun. Um, you know, the interview was with the coaches, which is always cool. Uh, fan participation, you can get some prizes, which uh, everybody loves, and uh, food as well. So yeah, it's going to be great. I'm it's, really a fun, excited. it's a really fun event. And so, as anyone ever know, knows, that the Kansas State Chiefs have been really enjoying their best season in 10 years, going 9 0. Here's Cole Travelers with the best piece on the Chiefs. <laughs> Uh, I'm proud of the Chiefs for being 9-0. They haven't looked very good doing it, but they're 9-0. So I'm proud. Uh, they're off to a really good start. Uh, but they're still lacking the big-time playmakers outside. Uh, Jamal Charles is pretty much their only big-time playmaker. So they're going to continue to struggle um, scoring points here in the next couple weeks. They've got uh, a much more challenging schedule. i uh, got two matches, uh, two meetings with Denver in the next three weeks. Um, so that's going to be really challenging for them to try to keep up with uh, Peyton Manning and their offense. I thought the Bills game was pretty exciting. It was very good on the defensive front, but I don't think we did very well uh, on our offense. We only scored nine points, so I think we should improve on our offense, but I think our defense is holding us together. Uh, Chiefs defense has been really solid this year. Um, they've created a lot of turnovers um, since they brought in Sutton, their defensive coordinator. Um, they've been able to pressure the quarterback, something they really struggled to do last year. Um, they're also able to put a lot more pressure with just their defensive front, um, so they're, they're able to play more man-to-man -man defense and press coverage, so their defensive backs are uh, getting creating a lot more turnovers as well. My favorite player is Dwayne Bowe because he is a beast on the field, he knows how to catch a ball, and he's super tall. My favorite Chiefs player is Anthony Sherman because he helps out with Jamal Charles in the run blocking. And Jamal wouldn't be what he is today without the fullback Anthony Sherman. My favorite player on the Kansas City Chiefs is Dexter McCluster. Um, he is extremely energetic. He looks like he is uh, very much a team player. Uh, he does everything um, quickly, fast. He's very accurate. He can catch. He makes great moves. I am entertained by Eric Berry. Uh, whenever I took the group of kids from summer school out to tour the stadium, they told us all about how he's deathly afraid of the, the horse that comes out after they score the touchdown. Uh, and it's, it's hilarious to hear him or see him scared of the horse whenever he's out running around. He's a big pro football player, but gets freaked out. Uh, I had a, a chance to go to the Dallas Cowboys Chiefs game, which was at Arrowhead this year. In fact, I've gone to all the Cowboys Chiefs games over the last few years when the Cowboys come into town. Cowboys fans were pretty much silent during a lot of that game because the Chiefs defense just held them to virtually nothing and won the game. And I was excited because I'm more of a Chiefs fan and it was fun to be there and see those two teams play. But the atmosphere in Kansas City, I've been to Dallas Cowboy games, it doesn't even compare. Well, that's awesome. 9-0, uh, and oh, but a big matchup with the Broncos this weekend. I'm excited. I'm not really that stressed out. I really think our Chiefs are going to pull out and go 10-0 and oh and just keep on the roll. You know what I'm saying? I hope so. Hey, 16-0 really so is yeah. we're heading that way. Super Bowl. Super Bowl round. <laughs> uh, in debate news, the National Forensic League awarded Tommy Dunn the degree of outstanding distinction for earning 1,000 NFL points. Each debate win garners six points, and a, and a loss is three. So to earn 1,000 points is remarkable. 
Only two other students in Barstow Debate history have reached that benchmark. Congratulations, Tommy. Ikron's Nanji has been named an Academic All-American for the National Forensic League. Fewer than 300 students per year earn this national honor. It requires 750 NFL points and a strong test scores and a great GPA. Samantha Rock and Josh Smith were recognized among the top speakers at the KCKCC debate tournament. 124 students from six states competed at the event. They were also picked up some hardware as a double octave finalist team, and also David DePriest and Mitchell Picard got some uh, hardware as well. So here on BTVN, we have gotten to enjoy many seasonal videos and discussions. To add to the collection, here's Abby Krause's video on the Day of the Dead. November 1st and 2nd is Dia de los Muertos, Days of the Dead. And we kind of take this week and stop what we're doing and celebrate it and learn about it in every class. Um, what you're seeing here are the five AP ofrendas which are a way to honor the memory of a loved one. Um, each student did a loved one with a lot of grandparents. Um, you can see the different styles. Um, and then they give a presentation. And this year, they include QR codes. And the middle school and some of the lower school classes come through and been able to learn about um, these people. Spanish 4, we learn about Jose Guadalupe Posadas, which is a very important Mexican artist. He's responsible for the popularization of um, the calaveras, which are whimsical skeletons, and Katrina is his most famous work. In Spanish 3, we watched a video about food of the ancestors and just the elements that go along the products and practices of Days of the Dead. Um, and then we have a fun time. Day of the Dead can be, there's a lot of elements to Day of the Dead. But one thing that I want students to have a takeaway is that it's a celebration to remember our loved ones and that you're only dead when you're forgotten. So it's a one time during the year to come back and remember um, so that those we love have never pass away. It's a really great piece, Abby. I'm really excited and it was a really fun time having Dave dead. And now, over the weekend, Lauren Hendrickson competed in the state cross country meet and had a great race, successfully finishing her freshman year of cross country. And soccer is also having a great postseason run as they won their fourth straight district title. And today, they will play St. Paul Lutheran for the chance to go to state. How do you think about this, Cameron? Um, I'm really excited. You know, if we win today, you know, going to state would be a huge honor. State quarterfinals, yeah. State quarterfinals. So I'm excited. You know, um, should be a great crowd tonight. So I appreciate you know everybody coming out and bearing with us in the cold. And uh, I think we'll pull out the win. So I'm really excited. Really appreciate your support. So, uh, also for today, students wanting to ride the bus down to Concordia to see the game must bring $5 and give it to either Jack Petty or the athletic department. The bus leaves at 3.45 and will return around 9. There's free pizza on the way back also. And thank you for all who participated in last week's French Week. We had a great turnout with a great fun movie night. Our question of the week, uh, sorry, our French question of the week uh, results came in and congratulations to Icross Nodge for being selected as the winner. I'm Stephen Ketchmark. And uh, I'm Cameron Simon. That's all we have for us today. But here's a special announcement to finish our show.